Hi there, I'm Matt. Thank you for joining us and you're very welcome along to the launch of the latest generation of a true motorcycling icon with Triumph's 2021 Bonneville family. So let's get started straight away and bring on the bikes. Thank you very much, gents. So here they are, the new evolution of Triumph's legendary Bonneville lineup from the original timeless T120, T120 Black and T100 to the stylish and contemporary custom street twin, the laid back Bonneville Speedmaster Cruiser and the pure custom beauty that is the Bonneville Bobber. And for 2021, these have been evolved with more performance capability, character and style. And today we're going to talk to the Triumph team, most of whom you just saw ride the bikes in, and hear all about this new generation and what makes each one so special. We'll also share a new Street Twin special edition surprise along the way. So let's get started with the motorcycle that sits at the very heart of this internationally renowned family, the Bonneville T120. And to tell us more about this latest generation, who better than Triumph's Chief Product Officer, Steve Sargent. Steve, welcome to the studio. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Uh, now, for me, the Bonneville story really starts with the original 60s T120, and we have a lovely looking example actually with us here in the studio today. Now, this in my mind, and I think for many people as well, played a pivotal role in motorcycle history, and it's one of those rare things, really, that we can truly call iconic. Yes, indeed. So, when this was launched in 1959, it really changed the motorcycle world, not just because of its stunning looks, but also because it redefined what performance and motorcycling was all about. Now the combination of its twin cylinder performance, its step change in handling, and that, that blend of British design with 50s Americana made the T120 an instant icon. And it played a, a huge part in the explosion of 1960s teenage biking culture. Now the bike itself was of course named after and inspired by land speed record breaking triumphs from the home of speed, the Bonneville Salt Flats in the USA. This original Bonneville T120 became the starting point for so many of the classic motorcycle styles we see today, where fans modified these bikes to create cafe racers, cruisers, bobbers and scramblers. Now, each of those custom bike styles went on to become really iconic motorcycles in their own right, and they continue today, you know, and that all came from that original 59 Bonneville DNA. And this has become the bike of choice for famous motorcyclists across multiple generations. You know, people who've used the Bonneville to race, to ride and customize, including American movie legend, Steve McQueen. Now, at our R&D center in Hinkley, we've continued the Bonneville's evolution since its relaunch in 2001, always working to maintain that original essence, but also to deliver a truly modern capability and a ride to match its legendary looks. Okay, so tell us about this new generation then, Steve. Well, first, as you can see, we've got two options. We've got the classic T120, and we've got the moodier T120 Black. Now these maintain all of the Bonneville signature features, including that timeless silhouette and style, combined with Triumph's class leading quality and finish. And of course, the T120 Black brings its own unique and stylish blacked out detailing. Now both have the same 1200cc Bonneville twin engine, renowned for its torque rich power delivery and that Triumph twin sound. As with this whole family of bikes, they have this elegant exhaust design where the unbroken flowing lines of the exhaust hide the catalytic converter underneath the bike. Now that's one of the lovely touches that make Triumph so clean and uncluttered to look at. Both bikes have got that high standard of modern capability together with all of the T120's comfortable and confidence inspiring easy ride. Okay, so what's new for 2021 then? Well, with the engine, the performance has been enhanced, making it more responsive with a reduction in mass and inertia. Now this means that the engine picks up quicker and feels much sharper. We also have cleaner and lower emissions that exceed Euro 5 requirements. And regarding the handling, this has been significantly enhanced thanks to a seven kilo weight saving. And critically, we've got all new lightweight aluminum wheel rims and engine components, which have lowered the inertia. And that therefore makes the bike significantly more agile and dynamic to ride. Now for extra stopping power, we've got new higher spec twin Brembo front brakes, which give you an improved performance and feel. And we also have higher specification technology with cruise control now fitted as standard. And we've got enhanced riding modes, which now adjust the throttle map and the traction control settings. Finally, we've added more premium touches and detailing, including the instruments, 
which have got a new 3D dial face incorporating Bonneville branding. And on the fuel tank, we've got a new heritage inspired three bar classic chromed metal tank badge. Great stuff. Thank you, Steve. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about the origins of the Bonneville name with somebody who knows a lot about going fast and also about being the first, and that's Major Tim Peake, of course, the first British European Space Agency astronaut and Army Air Corps officer. Tim, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a great pleasure to meet you, first of all. Hello, Matt. Delighted to be joining you today. Now, Tim, I know you're a keen motorcyclist and you've ridden a few triumphs in your time. What, in your view, do you think is it about the original Bonneville that led it to have such a big impact? Well, I think there were two things really about the, the original Bonneville that really made it stand out. And the first was its looks. I mean, it's the benchmark for what a classic motorbike should look like. Stylish, uh, clean lines, and the absolute epitome of cool. And I think if you asked to, uh, any child to draw a motorbike today, it's going to look something like a Bonneville. And whilst it may not look like a superbike by today's standards, of course, it was the Bugatti Veyron of its era. And the Bonneville is a name that's synonymous with speed. And the 50s and 60s were all about pushing the absolute limits. You had a space race going on between Russia and America, and down here on Earth, there was another race that was being equally hard fought, and that was the motorcycle land speed record. And the Triumph Bonneville takes its name from the 1956 record set by a Triumph Thunderbird engine. And the streamliner refers to the fairings, which were actually manufactured from jettisoned fuel cells from jet aircraft. Of course, this was uh, piloted by Texan legend Johnny Allen. It was called the Texas Seagar, and the engine ran on methanol. I think if you had pointed that thing skywards, it would have headed out into space. So for me, the Triumph Bonneville, it's all about classic looks and performance. And that's something that clearly lives on in today's designs. Thanks, Tim. Now, I can only imagine some of the incredible sights that you must have seen from the International Space Station. What have you got in the pipeline for the year ahead? So I've got a busy year ahead, Matt. I'm writing some children's books at the moment, which is a lot of fun, and planning a 30-venue live speaking tour around the UK later this year. So that's keeping me busy. And of course, I'm keeping my hand in with the space agencies and hoping to hear about a second mission to the International Space Station fairly soon. Well, that sounds great. We'll look forward to that. Thanks a lot, Tim. Best of luck for the future. And thanks once again for joining us today. Thanks very much, Matt. It's been a pleasure joining you.